banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Giant insects, robots, and aliens return, oh my, and 2025 proves to be another exciting year. The best since 2017, in fact. But does it live up to 2084, because that's when the real alien poop hits the fan. Oh no! There's more aliens and giant insects to shoot? Well, sign me up! Is Earth Defense Force hiring? Yes, they are. Robotron 2084, it isn't, but you could certainly say the game takes some inspiration from the classic arcade shooter as you're literally surrounded by enemies and the only way out is to shoot your way through them. From Sandlot Games and D3, Earth Defense Force 2025 is very similar to 2017. Except with more characters and weapons. The environments are all pretty much the same and what you're doing is similar, shooting everything that moves. But the addition of new character classes is the best feature along with hundreds of ridiculous weapons to collect. In fact, that's the strength of the game, is unlocking new weapons. The gameplay itself is, is identical. There's five difficulty settings ranging from easy to inferno, and you unlock bigger, better guns as you play through the harder settings. So if you're familiar with 2017, the way you play the game is the same. You go through it on easy or normal, and then go back and replay missions on a harder setting after you've leveled your guy up with more armor and better guns. This is Ranger 16! They're picking up people like ragdolls! <laughs> when you play the game on hard or inferno, it increases the power of the weapon drops, and that's important because... EDF gets difficult. Quickly. And you'll want all the firepower you can get. To arrive. Hold your ground. You need to protect the citizens. So what I like to do with any of the characters is, while making my way through the game, go back and play some earlier missions at Inferno. Which is damned near impossible. But if you can make it through, you're rewarded with some really cool stuff that makes the rest of the game more playable. More often than not, you'll end up as lunch for some giant insect, but that's okay, it's all good fun, go back and try again. 2025 is a better game than Earth Defense Force Infestation and brings back the humor that fans of 2017 know and love. The EDF chants are there along with some new songs and terrific one-liners. But this does suffer from one serious, serious flaw which nearly ruins sections of the game, and that's slowdown. At times, Earth Defense Force 2025 can simply not keep up with itself. I don't know if it's just the PlayStation 3 version here or all of them, but it's like this needs more horsepower. This is most noticeable when you're playing as a fencer who's the slowest, most powerful character. When you bring down an entire city, the game practically grinds to a halt, which makes playing some of these levels super annoying. I didn't notice the slowdown as much with the ranger or wing diver, although it's still present. They clearly increased the graphics, but maybe they shouldn't. Or maybe this should be on PlayStation 4 instead. Regardless, I'm still a big fan of this series and the game. It's like an ultra cheesy Godzilla movie that you can play. There's a hilarious single player campaign to play through, a two player co-op mode, which is where the character of Air Raider comes in who assists with aerial bombardment, and there's online gameplay. A 
It's the kind of game I'd like to see year after year every year. Except next time, just make it a little bit smoother. Earth Defense Force 2025 is a game you want to play, especially if you like this show. Prepare to shout it at the top of your lungs. EDF is here. For those of you who are going to play this game, which you will, if you're going to play with the big guns, try not to blow yourself up and die in an undignified position. Did you propose? I'll think about it tomorrow. Stay alert! Don't let your guard down! Yes, sir! 